Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaron and in this video I'm going to show you five exercises that will help you have better bow control. So we already learned how to hold the bow. We're still going to use a pencil in this video just so we get the movement correct first. All right, so exercise number one is finger lifts. You're going to lift each individual finger up and down five times. We wanna keep the other fingers relaxed. And when you go back down, you wanna to try to go to the same spot where it normally should be. See the third finger, it doesn't wanna lift very high. We're just trying to get control over each individual finger. Now notice that when you lift one finger, some of your other fingers want to tense up. Try not to let that happen. Think of keeping it nice and relaxed. So pinky up and down and make sure it lands right on top of the pencil. Lightly and controlled. Exercise number two. I call this one jellyfish. You're going to mimic the movements of a jellyfish. Have you ever seen a jellyfish swim? Their tentacles go up and down. It's really cool. So we're going to do the same thing. For now, try not to bend your wrist too much. We're just gonna straighten our fingers and then retract them. Extend our fingers and retract them. Jellyfish. Try it about five times. All right, now exercise number three. I call this one toddler bye-bye. You know when a little kid is saying bye, sometimes they go like this. We're going to do the same thing. Now I want you to keep the fingers relaxed. We're not going to move the fingers too much. Now we're focusing on the hand, going up and down, bending at the wrist. Again, try to keep your fingers relaxed. Don't make them stiff but try not to extend them and retract them for this exercise. So our hand up and down. You're going to do that about five times. Down, up, down, up, and down. Say bye bye. Everything outside is cool. Bye bye. The end. <laughs> All right. Exercise number four. We're going to incorporate a little bit of the jellyfish and the bye bye. We're going to make a clockwise circle. So with your pencil in hand, you're going to start down, extend the fingers, and when you turn up. Retract the fingers. Okay, do it slow and controlled. Five clockwise circles. Retracting the fingers. Going down, extending the fingers. Up and retracting the fingers. Five circles. Exercise number five. Now we're going to do the circles again, but we're going to do a counterclockwise movement. Start with your relaxed bow hold. We're gonna go up and to the left, fingers retracted. And then as you go down, extend the fingers. Clockwise motion, up, retract, down, extend. Keep it slow and controlled. Remember, don't have any tension. Try to keep your fingers, your arm, your forearm, your wrist. Try to keep everything tension-free. If you're feeling tense, 
Take a break, put down your pencil, drop your hands, shake them out, take a deep breath. And go back to it, keeping in mind the relaxed feeling. You're trying to do five counterclockwise circles. Bonus exercise. For this bonus part, you're going to do all five exercises with your arm extended out straight in front of you. Your shoulder will get nice and strong when you do these exercises. For this part, I'm gonna do the exercises with you. So let's try it. Finger lifts. First finger, five times. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Second finger. One, two, three, four, five. Third finger. One, two, three, four, five. And pinky. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Second exercise jellyfish. Ready? We'll start with an extended. We'll do five jellyfish. Ready? Go. Up, down, up, down. Three, down. Four, down. Five, down. Toddler bye bye. Up and down. Five times. Ready? Let's start. Up. Ready? Go. Up, down. Up, down. Three, down. Four, down. Five, down. I can feel my shoulder getting nice and strong. Exercise number four, clockwise circles. So we're gonna start up and to the right. My right. Ready? Go. That's one. Down, extend, retract. Two. Three, four, up, and five. Good. Number five, counterclockwise. We'll start to the left and go down, extend the fingers, and then come back up. Ready? Go. Down, extend, up, retract, two, down. Contract, up, three, up, four, oh, it's burning, up, five, and up. <laughs> now make sure you're warmed up before you start this exercise. If you just got out of bed, I wouldn't recommend doing this just yet. Walk around a little bit, get your blood flowing so that you don't cramp your muscle. I recommend doing these twice a day. If you're barely starting violin for the first time, try it once a day. And as you get better, as you get stronger, try it twice a day. Once in the morning when you're warmed up, and then at the end of the day before you go to bed, try those exercises. Again, it's going to help you get a smooth, beautiful sound on your instrument. This will help also increase the strength of your fingers when you need to play a powerful passage or when you need to use a long and beautiful bow. These exercises will really help you. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. We'll see you real soon.